A federal election could be triggered next week. That's when the budget will be handed down. But in Winnipeg today, it already feels like a campaign is underway. Federal Liberal leader Stéphane Dion is touring the province. And as CTV's Kevin Armstrong found out, he has a lot of work to do if he's going to send Canadians to the polls. Stéphane Dion made a stop in Winnipeg. I don't even know who Stéphane Dion is. The Liberal leader. Oh. Yes, the federal Liberal leader who many say is poised to send Canada to the polls. I don't know who that is. What do you think of Stefan Dion? I don't know who that is. And for those who do know him... He doesn't really seem like he has a lot of strong leadership skills. With those criticisms, it may be why Dion's campaign is unofficially underway. He's visiting several areas in Saskatchewan and Manitoba, including Vincent Massey Collegiate. In a world where post-secondary education and training are key components of a competitive economy, Gladys Young has a keen interest in politics. She's the president of her school. She wanted to hear Dion firsthand. I've heard a lot of different things about like his leadership capabilities, but I think that the fact that he came to our school today to connect with youth and to gauge, engage them in the political process made a big difference. But it might not show up in the polls if Dion triggers an election soon. Most of these students are too young to vote. What we decide during an election is not only for the next four years, in some way, it's framing the future. Not a household name in the West, still Dion is telling his Liberals to be ready for an election at any time. I'm very confident that when Canadians will know more about what we are proposing for a richer, fairer, greener Canada. The only way we'll find that out is during an election. Kevin Armstrong, CTV News, Winnipeg. A recent CTV poll shows Liberal momentum is on the decline in Western Canada, while the Tories are surging.